Hey everybody, today we are going to start prepping your pieces to make your stamps for the future lessons. So the first part of this is to cast your stamps and make the, the plaster component. And then in the next lesson, I'll show you how to use those stamps. So what you're gonna to need today is your plaster, which I have here in my bucket, some water, an old disposable container that you can check out when we're done, something to mix that plaster with, a little bit of clay, small cups to place your stamps in, that's what we're gonna actually cast in, Fettling knife, needle tool, and something to make a design with. I like using old chopsticks. You can use any kind of sticks or any, any little thing you can find to poke. You need something a little thicker than your needle tool. So find anything that you can to poke at your clay and make a design with. The first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna trace out the bottom of it with scrap slab. So go ahead and take a needle tool, go around the piece, So you trace around, cut out the circle that you just traced, feathering knife. Poke that out. Test it inside the piece. See I have a little bit of extra space. I'm going to squish my little bits of clay. Once you get it in there, run your finger around so the clay is all the way around the edges. Once you've done that, you can then take your tool poking little designs in your piece. Make some little squiggle lines in here. This can be any design you want. And then stick your finger in there and smooth it out. Might take a couple tries of cleaning it up and reworking your design that you've poked through. You don't want to poke too deep, you just want a little shallow eighth of an inch into the clay. And there you have it, you can see in there, and then I made just a couple extra ones so that I have some variation when I get and make my textured samples. You can set aside that clay and those extra tools, because now all you need are your cups. For this part, you have to eyeball how much you think would take to fill these cups. I'm just going to go ahead and pour in, since I'm pouring three, enough water that I think should fill about three cups. Just kind of guess at it here. And it's gonna double in volume. When you start adding your plaster, however much water you have, this level is actually gonna increase. I'm going just a little bit less than what I think is gonna to take to fill these pieces. You're gonna start shaking the plaster powder into the water. Do not disturb the surface. You wanna keep shaking. Let the water absorb all of the plaster shaking on in. After a little while you'll start to see a little mountain of plaster is going to form on top and no longer absorb. Show you it in one second, a little bit more. Okay so I have this little mountain in here and, it, and it's not absorbing. That's a good place to be. That's where you know that that's where you can start mixing. So go ahead and start using your stick to mix up that plaster. You don't have a mixing stick, get a plastic spoon, plastic knife, whatever you can find. Just make sure it's disposable. When we're done using this plaster, you're gonna be throwing away anything that came in contact with it because you can't rinse anything off down your drain. If you try to pour any of this plaster down the drain or rinse off any of the tools that you've used, you'll clog your home drain and that will not be a good thing. You'll have to call a plumber. Okay, so we're looking for Something that's kind of like a thick cream type of consistency. You don't want milk, you want it to be fairly thick. And actually, this is maybe a little bit too thin, so I can just sit here and stir it up a little bit more. And as I stir it, it'll start to set. And if it's still a little too thin, I can just add just a tiny bit more plaster, thicken it up a little bit. And then once you've worked out all of those lumps that you might have settled down at the bottom, because the plaster have the tendency to form some lumps, you can go ahead and just start pouring directly into your cups. Now as I said earlier, you can't pour anything down the drain. 
It's like I eyeballed just enough. Pour out whatever you can. These items here, you just let them dry and then throw them in the trash. Tap these out to get any little air bubbles out. Set them aside and they should take about a day or so to fully cure and dry. And then you can demold. And there you have it. And there's Victoria.